Welcome back to the Weird and Proud Podcast. It's Sam and James. James. We have a dog here today. Her name is Prudence Marie, and she is so cute. Boo boys. Boo boys. Um, hello everyone. I hope everyone had a great Super Bowl, a great Valentine's Day. So much has happened. I forgot to put your Valentine's Day outfit on. That's a lot. That's a lot. I forgot about that. I know. That's okay. I got this Valentine's Day outfit for James, and his real present, too, hasn't even come yet, which is... Wait, I thought that was the real present. No, 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 no. That was part of the present. But I got this sexy little Valentine's Day outfit, so I was going to make him wear it, but we, you know... We forgot. And we forgot. But just pretend he's in a sexy little Valentine's Day outfit. It'll come out some other time. Yeah, yeah, when you least expect it um anyways hello friends and thanks for tuning in thanks for coming back another week um you know we're trying to keep these episodes topical you know so it has like each one has a different topic of the day maybe you know we're working on things we're trying things out seeing how they go um because again we mentioned last week that like when we say send us your secrets it's it is a very vague statement, which sometimes can work, um, and we'll definitely like you know obviously keep sending us whatever secrets you Still have. Still send us your secrets. Yes, we're not saying to not send random secrets. Yeah. Yes. No. 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 Send us all the random secrets. But we're like maybe we have some more specific call outs, you know. Um, so it just you know can help like really really get you guys thinking, you know, really help inspire you. So, um, this week I was like, let's do like, I feel like embarrassing stories. Like everyone always has like a weird, embarrassing story that's happened to them. And I thought, uh, you know, of course, James and I will share our weird stories. I haven't heard what James is as yet. And I haven't told him what mine is yet. No idea. But I, I also kind of have like a current one and, like one that like definitely was a little bit ago but um so we have we have some personal and then we also have a bunch of voicemails too so i had people call in tell me what's something weird and embarrassing that's happened to you so i'm excited to listen to those too it's gonna be a great episode and i feel like too because this comes out on a monday you know it just like start your week just being like damn like i'm really glad I'm not those people you know what a great way to start a week. At least <laughs> at least I'm not them. At least that didn't happen to me. Or maybe it did. You can be like, oh, shit. Like, I thought I was the only one. It you ain't know? rock bottom yet. Yeah, right. You can keep going <laughs> lower. Um, hi, James. How are you? Great. Yeah? You yeah. feeling good? Yeah. I'm excited for this episode. He's, and for the people that are it, listening. You can hear it in his voice. You can see it on his face. I love li- thinking about the listeners. You love thinking about like, the listeners. What, like, what, are, they are, they, what are they doing right, right now? Yeah. What are you wearing right now, listeners? Let's get sexy. Um, but I I I'll go first again because I feel like it's right um that I go first, you know. Of course. As per usual. Um, on you know, what uh what embarrassing stories and things that I haven't like told you guys already, because I feel like I have told a lot of my embarrassing stories already. Um, but I don't think I've told these one or if I have, it's been a little bit and I'll be, and I'll be interested to see if you can like, you know, like remember if I've told these to you before, but I don't, I don't know if I have, but I did. And this is something interesting that, you know, again, I feel like this might not be the most relatable thing any, you know, in the world, but, um, I was in New York City last week. And I can't remember if I told you this, James. I knew you but, were in New York City last week. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. No, no. This is a good one. Idiot. Um, but I was walking. It, I don't remember. It was like downtown. And I was walking down the street. And this like older couple came up to me. And they were like, can we get, do you mind taking our picture? Can you take a picture? And I was like, oh, my God, of course I'll take a picture with you. And I, like, went to go, like, kind of, like, put my arm, you know, my hands and arms around them and, like, lean in for, like, a selfie. 
And they're like, no, 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 no. Can you take a picture like a bus, just a bus? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> of course. Oh my god, crazy, lol. Um, and that was that was embarrassing. That's funny. Yeah, you laughed so hard. When I just told one. that you barely cracked a smile. I'm smiling. This is like James is over my shit. Like, am... James is over me. Like people are like, does James just like die laughing all the time? Like, no, he doesn't. I laugh often. James, do you think I'm funny? Hilarious. You know this. I don't. You guys. I don't know if I believe it. You know. He's laughing on the inside. My reactions are that just different than other people. Right. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm funny. You're funny. I'm funny. You're funny. You're We're funny. All funny. Yes. That's what you hurts. Know I is that, that's like that's his. He's like everyone's funny. I'm like wow. I didn't say everyone's funny. Run into traffic. everyone is not funny. That is not no. But how like funny am I on a scale of one to ten compared to other people? Like a thirty-four. Okay. Specifically, thirty-four. Okay. Well, you know. Um. Yeah. So I know that you, obviously you laughed so hard, and you thought that was like hysterical what I just said. But I thought that was really funny, and I know that again. That's not like very like it's not like a relatable story, but like that is like my worst nightmare. I feel like I just said like a lot. I'm sorry. Like, uh-huh. but it's my worst nightmare. Is that? You know, I just like embarrass myself. I'm so nervous that I am just like people are gonna walk away after they meet me and be like, "What a fucking loser!" <laughs> and I wonder if people do say that, and that makes me sad. Ease. Go ahead and tell us. Yeah. <laughs> tell me. Tell me if all my insecurities have come true, and you've met me, and you were like, "Wow, what a fucking loser." Um, but that is literally my worst nightmare, and I feel like it probably has. I just gotta admit, you know, that someone's probably been like what's up with her ass but only at least it's clean at least it's clean i just feel like if i'm out in public sometimes and especially at the gym and which is another place i've talked about like i just get so nervous that people probably see me and they're like like i know my face is just like like you know and i'm sure people are like what the fuck you know i just when I'm walking, especially even if I'm in the city, I got my AirPods on, I'm walking down the street, it is like, <laughs> in my head. It's okay. All you can do is be you. You don't have to be something for everyone. Yeah. So just know if you like see me and I look like I look like a crazy person. Just she hates it. you. <laughs> no, no for sure not. And I have voices in my head. Do you have voices in your head? I think we all do. Okay, I'd be God. scared if someone didn't have Can voices. Can you imagine if, if you were like, no? I'd be like, oh, okay. Because they always say that. They're like, yeah, the crazy Everyone people have voices in their head. But we, don't no. we all? Can we all just admit we all have voices in our head? Yeah. And if I'm walking down the street or if I'm walking in the gym, just know that I'm having a full-blown conversation with myself I inside love of my head. I to the voices in my head. Okay, thank God. Whew, I feel so much better. Absolutely. <gasps> You See? gotta get to know those folks. Yeah. Especially the dark ones. Don't we? Yeah. They're the coolest those ones. Are, yeah, those are they're great. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> um, anyways, that was fun for everyone. Um, okay, so I will say I I think I've told this story before. And I mean, I feel like a million embarrassing things happen to me all the time, every day. On average. Oh, my God, my cat. Don't sneeze. Kiara. Kiara's a sniffles. Kiara, I need you to cut the shit. Um, But I have a lot of embarrassing things that happen to me, you know, between breaking my vagina, which I don't know if you that story's on TikTok. Walking around with a broken vagina is a hell of a story to tell people. Um, I've just there's been a lot. It's been a lot. But I will say probably like one of the first times I can be like, that was one of the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. When I was like, I had to have been early high school, like middle school, like maybe like eighth grade ish. And me and my, one of my best friends at the time, we were at home after school and it was like just about to be summertime and we had the windows open. And one of my brother's best friends was mowing lawns and he, you know, happened to be coming by that day and was mowing our lawn outside with the windows open. And 
my brother's friend was so fucking hot and his name is Matt and he, he I had told this story on TikTok years ago he ended up finding it and like he was like oh my god like I, somehow he anyways so he knows we all know his wife knows <laughs> and me and my friend were obsessed with him had a huge crush on him and we, he was like mowing right outside where my room was and we were like let's do something you know crazy let's do something crazy and I had like just bought like one of my first black thongs and this was like you know just when like and like getting a thong when you were like that age was one of the most exciting things like you know to be able to like go and like buy a thong it's still, not ex- it's, like, still exciting to buy it's thongs so exciting not anymore though. those things fucking hurt like i want a comfy <laughs> comfy one anyways i was like i'm gonna throw this underwear out the window at him like just to see what he does and so i literally took the my black lacy thong this how old 13 year old threw it out the window like right in front of where he was just about to mow the lawn and we dunk our heads down and we're like laughing our asses off but he is the lawn moron like he doesn't see it i mean he doesn't like hear us and but he does see it and we like didn't say anything and like just hid the rest of the day and like thought we were so cool but <laughs> the next day at school and yeah, I must have been a freshman because my brother's exactly four years older than me. So he was a senior at the time. So I must have been a freshman in high school. So everyone, at, you know, there was like some rumors going around. And one of my friends had gone up and told me that there was this rumor going around that my mom had thrown underwear at this kid, Matt, like at this, at my brother's friend. And they like had heard <laughs> and like he was and my mom was like, honestly, pretty, like she's she's hot. She still is hot. But she was a milf. Like she was like one of those moms like every guy was obsessed with. And like Nick's friends always like gave Nick a hard time or like your mom's so hot. So like he was kind of almost bragging about it in a way, too, that, you know, my brother Nick's mom threw underwear at him. So long story short he ends up matt's mom finds out somehow i think he ends up telling her and he has to call the mom calls my mom i know this is a lot of characters and is like you like there's this rumor going around that you're like trying to hit on my son and that there's some underwear involved i know this isn't true but like now matt like kind of feels uncomfortable and I literally had to go in and be like, I was the one who threw the underwear at my brother's friend. And that was really, really fucking embarrassing. And that's like one of the first times that like, and because like everyone at school, you know, we have a smaller school and was, there was this rumor that, you know, and I had to be like, no, it was me. Like I threw the underwear at my brother's friend. James, are you hilariously dying? I love this story. I have heard this story before. Look Absolutely. Out, out, out. I've heard this story like a bunch of times. A bunch of times. I love this story. I but think it's hilarious. That is that's one of my like favorite stories to tell because it was really funny. And my mom was so I mean, she was mad but it, she ended up obviously it was funny at the end of the day because it was just, like funny. she didn't do anything. You know, but it like the fact that like everyone went around I was like, I love hysterical james he's laughing so hard on the inside he's like wow it's so crazy so so crazy on the inside james would you like to tell us yes i was told that these stories should be about a minute long so mine's a little (laughs) shorter mine might not take up that wasn't a minute that was like three minutes that may have been slightly no it wasn't much more than a minute it was right around a minute yeah right around a minute so my minute long story that I've prepared, I will tell slowly to take up a little extra time. Since we were going to be in the junior high world, mm-hmm. I thought I would do a sports type story. Okay. And I was always kind of a bigger kid, right? You've seen baby pictures of me. I know. I love that about you. And, uh, but I was still pretty good at a lot of sports. Like there were some I was much better at than others. And at junior high, one sport I was not good at 
was anything to do with running. I was not fast at the time. Mm, yep. Um, and we had like a track and field day. Okay. And I entered events opposite of, I was still kind of conniving back then, opposite of a girl that I kind of had a crush on. Okay. So she could watch me. Yeah. Right. Because you had to watch, you got to watch all the other people. And there's like, my school is small. So there's only four like physical education classes. That's okay. it. There's four of them. And each class was like competing against each other. Interesting. And it was track and field day. So it's stuff I'm not that great at. I tried to do like throwing events because I was strong. Yeah. But you had to pick one running event. And I didn't want to do distance and I wasn't quick. But I thought I could be strategic. And so okay. I picked, oh, I'm telling the story way longer than I thought. See, I was just going to say, I'm like, since I, when I have you ever job. told well, a story that's I don't know short. if I've told this. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> so I picked hurdles. Okay. And I'm like, and hurdles was like the first event of all the ones I had to do. I'm like, all right, we'll get this out of the way. Right? Yeah. I get up to the first hurdle. This isn't nearly as bad as throwing your underwear at someone, which is way funnier than mine. No. I get up to literally the first hurdle. And in my head, like chariots of fire is playing in the background and I'm going to dominate <gasps> this thing. Yeah. I'm just going to dominate this hurdle. And I probably didn't even get my waist over the damn thing. And I like toppled over twice, Aww. skinned the whole right side of my body. The entire right side was a huge bloody mess. Aww. Like it was a wipeout of all wipeouts. Like my face, my shoulder. My shin was dug down like to the muscle, like no skin left. And yeah, I got pretty screwed up trying. I mean, I went for it. Like it wasn't, you know, you hesitate. And so you don't get hurt as bad with something. But I went for it like I was going to crush that thing. And everyone was watching. And there was a little laughter till people saw all the blood. And then it was kind of a worry. Fortunately, Do you still have a scar. I think, I, you know, the right side, I never grow much hair there. So I don't know if that just killed everything. Interesting. Um, fortunately, my dad is a doctor in the my tiny little town. The hospital and clinic were right across the parking lot from the uh, school. So literally all I had to do was walk across the parking lot to get taken care of. And Aunt Pam, who you've met, was the receptionist at the clinic. So they got to see all of the mayhem. Oh, James! Track and in field. front of the girl that you like. Just, I don't even know if she saw it. I'm not sure. To so this that was day. just part of the story. Just but it was fun. small enough. That was there was the re there was strategy to me picking these events. Yes. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Um. Wow, James. My one friend had told me to do that. He's to like, what? If you do the opposite events. Oh, 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 oh. That's so smart. Those used to be the worst. Who Ian used to do? My brother used to do track and field in high school yeah those events were 12 hours long they were and this was like a, just a day of it to you know you in phys, in phi ed they're introducing you to sports and stuff right and so this was like the track and field day to learn about it and we we're all in junior high so you know the high school coaches come down to see who might be good i did not get asked to do track and field not for you no no um okay that was a great story, James. Thank you so much. Oh, I know. That was like honestly stoning. And um, you know, I feel like that's not like, yeah, again, it's not too too bad. You know, like you can live with that. You know, sometimes you fall, but you get right back up. You got knocked down, but you got up again. That's You're the song never that comes gonna into your head. You down. That's Chumba Wumba. Chumba that Wumba. Is such a good song. Is that your most motivating song? <laughs> See, I, I got to go like ACDC or Queen. No. Those are real motivating songs. No, that's motivating. Um, okay. Well, we just embarrassed ourselves. Well, you know, who hasn't fallen ate shit? <sighs> Literally. If you haven't fallen and ate and shit in front of every, instead of in front of someone that like you liked or like, you ain't living. You ain't living. All right. So I put out to the universe. I said, listen, guys, tell us one of your embarrassing stories. So we got a couple, a couple good ones. And hopefully they're not. Yeah, most of them are pretty, pretty 
within within the reach not too long but um again if you want to send us a voicemail and again these can be all anonymous and you can leave up to a minute and 30 seconds so try and keep it under a minute and 30 seconds but you can record it right from your phone so if you go to speakpipe speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod super easy you literally just hit record oh jesus christ my dog is fucking jump the dog jumped. Is, <laughs> Let's just call the dog James. is tearing up the carpet ah, ah, ah. it's usually me tearing up the carpet True. <laughs> prudence i'm gonna literally so she literally she needs attention she needs attention um okay james joms are you ready prepared okay here we go hi sam and james um my embarrassing story is that i very recently found out that if you have like a super bad case of sinus infection and you have not that just is not coming out like through the nose or maybe even the back of your throat or whatever it finds it its way on its own out just my snot coming out through my tear ducts and i hope that's embarrassing enough because wow i just love to telling you that story love you guys all the way from mexico bye oh my god from oh, mexico! we're in mexico let's go visit her oh my god yes we're coming i want real tacos real tacos. no that's for the real tacos. um that's hel- wait all i heard was that it comes out your eye your e- eye ducts everything up there is connected yeah and there's certain people where it could potentially come out there not Ew. everyone but that's a lot of mucus and that's an amazing story i want to use this as an example i guess from my perspective yeah every weird story is good please call in with them she's like i hope that's weird enough <gasps> yeah no no that it's was all weird. beautiful that was a great example was, yeah because you know there's also the other side of the spectrum where sometimes things get a little too weird you know um but no we love them all we love them snotty snotty tear ducks it's a great one yeah that another fear unlocked for me i didn't know it could come out your your ears or your eyes <laughs> Whatever she's, that's terrifying. Tear ducks. But I hope that you feel better. We love you. And can we come visit you? Thank you so much. Tear ducks are in your eyes for the record. Tear ducks. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure if you said tear or ear if I heard. Got it. James. James. Okay. Are you ready? Next voicemail. So last weekend I was at my friend's house and we had come upon a mutual agreement to never shit at each other's houses because we had just had a riveting conversation about how people have clogged our toilets. So then, obviously, afterwards we got ice cream and, like, chocolate, and we ate a bunch of snacks, because that's what you do at a sleepover. And then, oh my god. So, of course I needed to shit. I need to take a radioactive shit afterwards, like a fucking bathroom-blowing explosion shit. So I told her my stomach hurt, and she got me some tea, but she put, like, all the leaves in it. And, um, yeah, I, I started eating the leaves, but that's, that's not important. That, that, yeah. Anyway, um, so I was eating the leaves and then she went to bed and then I was on a call with our other friend and I told her all of a sudden I need to go and I shit my pants. I, sh- I just straight up shit my pants. Nothing more to it. I shit my pants and she never knew to this day. She does not know. <gasps> I love a shit your pants story. That's a great story. Have you ever shit your pants? Yes. When? It was, drinking was involved. Oh. This was like college days. Like after you've been drinking? Yeah. Or like while you were drinking? No, you after we've been drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where were you? Were you somewhere you could get away? Yes. That's good. I think we've actually talked about this. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I was going to say. I think we're one. talking about this because I love shitting on. The that side was going to be. Road. That was going to be another. That would have been <laughs> another know, embarrassing story. You said junior high age to start, so that's where I went. Yeah, yeah, I know. More recently, like I feel like that's also Weirdly a universal enough, the ju- thing. The junior high story was like more embarrassing. Yeah, well, as long as you're in a safe place, like if you shit your pants, 
and you're by yourself you know like i know a lot of people say that they shit their pants in the car like you know you're in traffic or you're like and a little bit squeaks out or something yeah Yeah. you know the fart that betrays you um but you know so that's not really like that embarrassing unless you had to like go somewhere but her story is fantastic and i the pact of not shitting in each other's house is like that's interesting that you would do that with a friend i would never make a friend i would never make a friend wait like that's torture what kind of friend is that well she's obviously a good friend for pooping her well there are a lot of people that can't poop i mean yeah it would be weird for me to be like hey just heads up no pooping at my house yeah you know but if you both were like listen like i'm scared to poop here and she's like i'm scared to poop your place you know and it was like a scared thing but it would be weird if i was like hey listen up you can do everything but you can't shit because i want people to experience the bidet it's a big bonus that's a should. big bonus yeah you know um anyways that was an amazing story we love a shit your pants story and i hope at least everyone gets to experience shitting your pants for one time because it humbles you it really does because i think there's something about like too when you're a baby you used to shit yourself so it's like you're coming full circle and you're like wow Look anything, how far I've come. Anything can happen. <laughs> anything can happen. <laughs> but I'm so sorry you shit yourself. But I also am happy for you because you've grown from it. And you've thank you looked for back sharing. and you said, yeah, I'm better than that person that I was that day. Okay, James, are you ready for the next voicemail? Okay, yeah. No, Always, just yes. Answer. Yes. My most embarrassing story is how this is take number 17 of trying to get my actual embarrassing story out and it's more embarrassing that i can't record anything with my voice in 90 seconds without just dreading listening to it so here's the plan this this is embarrassing this is the most embarrassing thing i've ever done okay bye that's the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. Um, there is nothing more embarrassing than having to keep record voicemails. Have you ever? I know you're not really a voicemail sender. James doesn't really keep up with the times, but a lot of kids these days love to send voice messages to each other. Oh yeah, I have people that send. Me, I have some of my clients send voice messages. Yes, yes, it's very efficient. Great, you know, if you can't type and you're walking, you know, it's very easy to do. But it is always really embarrassing if, like, <laughs> you're recording and you, like, have some enthusiasm, you know, especially, like, if I'm laughing back at something and I'm, like, ah, <laughs> you know, like, actually really laughing and then you go into it and then you f- fuck it up and you're, like, shit, I gotta re-record that. And then you gotta, like, pretend again, like, ah, <laughs> you know, that's embarrassing. That's a good story. I'm glad that's you hilarious. shared that. And I think that's a universal shared thing. I think we all really want to run into traffic when we have to re-record a voicemail um sounds, yeah sounds extreme <laughs> it's really i don't know if i'd go to running into traffic voicemail anxiety is a thing and james just like doesn't have it because he's like mr professional like hello it's james from wisconsin how are you today that's how i start all my voicemails <laughs> how did you remember that you're not like hey what's up in the fuck like how I record voice, but I'm like, what's up, you bitch? You know, and then sometimes I'm like, whoa, that was aggressive. That's I got to re-record that. It's mean to say to someone. No, it's nice. It's love. If I ever said, hi, sweetie, I want to kill you. If I ever say, hi, sweetie, you're the worst person I know. Hey, babe. I Crazy code words. But if I said, hey, what's up, you bitch? That means you're my best friend. Right? Obviously. <laughs> that all makes perfect sense. Oh, uh, great. That was fantastic. Honestly, like, I don't think you could have done better than that anyways. Like, I agree. I think that was pretty embarrassing for everyone. Thank you. We love you so much. Okay. You ready? John? Ready. As he says, he's always ready. So a little bit of background to this story. I was a medical student when this happened, um, I've now graduated, so yay. Um, 
but uh, this was during my surgery rotation and I had to interview a patient for a consultation that um, we were doing. And so my preceptor sent me into the room uh, for me to interview him and get, you know, the basic um, details of why he was there in the consultation. And so this is an older looking gentleman, maybe I estimated him to be in his 60s, um, late 50s, somewhere around there. He had a small child with him and they were just playing around, joking around, just really cute relationship. And so I asked him, oh, is this your grandchild? Um, Y'all's relationship is just so adorable. It's so cute. Um, He was so incredibly angry um, and he told me that that was his son not his grandchild um so suffice to say it was very awkward I finished my interview and I made sure not to go back in with my preceptor because that was so embarrassing oh what my god I've done a similar thing like that too where like you think it's like a grandkid and it's like or it's the worst too if it's like oh no this is like my girlfriend or like my boy you know like oh, if there's yeah, someone yeah, they're yeah, dating yeah, yeah. i've i've that was a great that's the and i think we've all done it yeah I've that's another universal thing like that, that i think yeah 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 i think the other worst thing too that's similar to this is like i mean it, this is probably worse and i've 100 percent done it are you pregnant i was gonna say you i believe you did that to one of our neighbors <laughs> i did I did, you guys. That's also, oh my god, I forgot how embarrassing that was. I like sometimes. I thought I that like was going to be hard, your embarrassing story. But like sometimes you do black that stuff out. Like I literally try to black that out so bad because I literally tried to crawl myself out of the hole and only dug myself in deeper and deeper. Similar to like an age, you know, like being like, "Oh, is that your grandkid?" It, like asking someone, and thank God, thank God, it wasn't the wife herself, but our neighbors down the the street the husband was out and the wife was like waving from the door and he was at the end of the driveway as i was walking by with prue and he had his they had another you know a kid that was running around and um i was like oh we just brought up conversation and his wife waves and i was like oh my god congratulations looks like your wife's pregnant he was like no she's not pregnant and i was like oh she must have like you guys like just had a baby. <laughs> he was like, "No." You just didn't let it go. Our did you? kid's like three years old now, and I was like, "Oh, okay. yeah, okay, okay." I'm gonna go kill myself. Um, yeah, like because then at that point it's like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> goodbye." I remember when he came home from that. You I was were. Like, I'm never walking. You were I, traumatized. I. Anytime you I see them out, I run in the other way. Yeah. No, that was literally the worst thing. Thank God. I'm like, please, baby Jesus. I'm praying he never said it. I would hope he would never say anything to her. No. He- but I remember he said, I felt so bad. He was like, yeah, she's been trying really hard to like get it off. Like she's been trying to work out. It's really hard for the baby. <laughs> I hate myself. Know that I hate myself. Okay. I was just like, thank God she wasn't right there. And I really hope she never finds out that that happened. But thanks to the doc for calling in and getting all those memories boiled up for you. (laughs) Thanks for thanks, doc. Thanks for reminding me that I want to die. But no, that's a tough one. Her situation, too. Like you're a medical. Same thing. You're a resident. Like you're not you're you're a doctor, but you're like waiting to, you know, you're going to the next level. You're starting patient interaction. Right. And the patient interaction is always the toughest part of being a doctor the book learning they do that they do well and then you got to get the bedside manner going yeah and oh, yeah that's, that's tough. tough oh that's really poor tough. thing that's um you know but I, th- I think it's the worst thing is that they probably get it a lot too you know and it's it could be worse you could have asked someone if they were pregnant um Thank you so much for calling in. We love you so much. Okay, are you ready for... Actually, this is the last of the voicemails. No. The last uh, embarrassing story voicemail. Are you ready, James? Ready. So I'm on vacation in Kauai with a guy I'm dating and his parents. And we go on this tour, ATV tour in this red dirt. 
And we stopped by this river and they're like, hey, this is super cool. It was in one of the Indiana Jones movies where he swings out on the rope and lands in the water and floats downstream. Uh, does anybody want to swing on the rope? So the guy that I'm dating says, yeah, sure, I'll do it. So he swings out, swings back to this rock that was on the edge that was kind of like a perch. Somebody else went and did it. And then they said, anybody else? And I don't know what I was thinking. But I said, sure, I'll do it. Um, uh, never worked out ever, ever. And so I grabbed the rope. Don't flex my arms at all because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Swing out, drop like a rock. Um, at this point, my mouth is open from shock. So I swallow some water and I realize as I'm swimming toward the, the shore, um, the guide reaches out to me and then pulls his hand back and he goes, wait, do you have any open wounds? Um, they told us there could be flesh eating bacteria in the river. So yeah, um, that was a super fun vacation. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. Sounds like she filmed her own little mini Indiana Jones movie where oh. she fell in a river filled with flesh eating bacteria. Oh my god. She said this was in Hawaii? Yeah. There's flesh eating bacteria in Hawaii? What is, that's so what I mean, are you looking at me like most that? Most contaminated water could have yeah, that sort of thing. It. Um oh my god, that's so <laughs> scary. That would be something i would do too like i can picture i was trying to like picture the swings oh i'm picturing the exact scene in the Indiana yeah Jones yeah movie. yeah yes. i'm pretty sure she's there's two scenes that i can i'm pretty sure she's talking about raiders of the lost ark but there's a chance it's actually from uh temple of doom mm, i of don't think temple of doom was filmed much in hawaii though but raiders of the lost ark was yeah yeah, yeah. so temple That's of doom so yeah crazy i you're not good with heights no james is that's like james's number one fear is heights i'm good like i've gone on plenty of rope swings i've climbed trees and jumped into water like i can get yeah. over it but i do i i get if i'm like near the especially if i know i'm going off of something yeah it's okay i've done parasailing just to try to get over it but yeah, Paris like when we were going up the like a uh, ranger tower, right? Remember? Oh my god, yeah, we went for that. Hike. I like going up. Picture uh, I can't, I fire up. ranger tower, right? You okay. go on a hike, or you're hiking somewhere, and you can go way up to see, and you're climbing these it's stairs that you can see views. down through. Yeah, that stuff terrifies me. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, terrible yeah, yeah. At that. yeah, when especially when it's something that's like shaky and kind of oh, sketchy like god. that. Um, but. I like I am not terribly afraid of heights, but they still definitely get me. I don't know if I could. I mean, good for you for being like, fuck it, I'm doing it. I yeah, hope someone amazing. did get it on camera. Oh, that would yeah, that would be better. Yeah, because then you could post it on TikTok and get those views for clout. That's what I do. You know, that's what I hope. If any, if I break a bone or something bad happens, I'm like, at least just get the. Content. If I die, let me die doing what I love, get getting clout. <laughs> That's what we'll put on your tombstone. At it, least it was recorded. Yeah. At least someone recorded me dying. Um, how many? No, it'll be a question. How many views did my how death How many get? views did my death video get? Um, they, there's this trend that's like, dumb ways to die. And it's like people like literally looking like they're going to die. So you should do that. You could get, who knows, you know? Um, I, I am glad you're okay, though, because I also... I feel like I've heard so many horror stories. Like one of my friends went jumping, cliff jumping. That in, sounds terrifying. Yeah, off like late, you know, and um, off lakes, into lakes. And you can, f like, it doesn't really take that much of a jump. Like some of these are like 20 feet, like 30 feet. And your, her legs and thighs were purple from bruise. Yeah. Like all the bruising and shit, and her ass was totally bruised. I'm like, ow! Why would you do that? Yeah, you get water. Water is very solid when you hit it. From yeah, you high. forget that. Yeah, like you're like, high. oh, it's just water. You know, it's gonna catch me. It's like, no, that shit is like concrete when you hit that. It's kind of like enough. anything. You can get hit in the head with something, or you can get hit in the head with something that's really big, large, and moving fast, and it might kill you. 
Right. Like there's a certain height that if you jump from gravity affects everyone the same 9.8 meters per second squared. Here we go. What? Yeah, Here we go. Here he's dropping the equations, everybody. Get out your calculators. So it affects everyone the same in a way. The question is how much momentum do you have when you hit this surface right. that does have surface tension to it? So when you hit it, if... Something to think about, guys. Yeah. Something to think I about. What, what is the, the surface is. tension with the velocity e equals you're mc squared? Right one- oh, you're getting close. I know. No, James, honestly, I'm like so smart <laughs> see that made him laugh he laughed at that tell me why tell me why why james why all i did was smile bigger you just smiled bigger when i said i'm so smart and you smiled the biggest you smiled i think it was the e equals MC. <laughs> i think it was the e equals mc squared that got me. whatever james ah. um well that was some great embarrassing stories i feel good I feel good, even though I it do still kind of want to die after remembering that pregnancy, that pregnancy thing that I did. That was really, 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 Aww, really bad. We dug up a little trauma. I love a little trauma going into the week. <laughs> There's nothing like a little trauma to get your week started. So just like at the beginning of the episode, at mm. least they didn't accidentally call someone pregnant this weekend. Exactly. Or shit your pants. Hey, did you shit your pants this weekend? Did you if shit not, your pants this week? If not, you're doing great. You're, you're killing it. And, um, you know, we'll, if you have it, keep it, you know, also any follow ups. I meant to say this too. If you have any follow ups to any of these stories, if you have still any embarrassing, like, you know, we'll still go through these. We'll, you know, try and finagle a topic for next week. But, Call us in if you also have an embarrassing story, feel free to call us and we can always do a, you know, come back to the embarrassing stories. So call us in at speakpipe. Speakpipe.com slash weird and proud pod. All one word. And again, you literally just click, put it in your little internet browser. It's super easy on your phone. Click record. Minute and 30 seconds. You can put your name, you can send anonymous. Or and we do love, we prefer the voicemails because it's just funnier to hear your voice. I do love them. We prefer the voicemails, but if you have a really good juicy story and you, like many of us, have a little bit of voicemail anxiety and you don't want to have to record it 17 times, you can also, you can either DM it to me at Weird and Proud Pod on Instagram, which hopefully you're following. If you're not, go follow. If you're not, go follow. Um, Or you can, we have the Weird and Proud, sorry, that, that's going to fuck that up. It's Weird and Proud Pod at gmail.com. So Weird and Proud Pod at gmail.com is the email. So for whatever reason, you know, again, you don't have whatever. You can always email it to us too. But we love you guys so much. Also, make sure you are following on YouTube. Obviously, we're trying to create a premium experience on YouTube for you guys. So make sure you're following there as well. And give this video a thumbs up. Maybe write a comment on, you know, if you have an idea for a topic. You know, any ideas. We love your feedback, Would honestly. We love some YouTube feedback. Yeah. I mean, or just any yeah uh, the questions YouTube that you have questions that you have if there's you know anything in general that you have feedback on i we do i love constructive criticism you know you can tell us i you know i suck too but i would love like you know like if there's something you want to hear us talk more about um feel free comment if like dm us our, if you'd like to hear our opinions on things yes some advice regarding something mm, yeah 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 whatever let us know Follow and subscribe on YouTube, comment. And then if you are, you know, if you want to listen on podcasts, we still obviously have the Spotify and Apple, Apple, we Apple podcasts as well, too. But, you know, really trying to, again, create a premium experience for you to view and you can listen, obviously, at the same time. So we love you guys so much. We hope you have an amazing start to your week. Thank you so much for being here. And we will see you next week. Thank you, listeners. We love you, weirdos. See you next week.